This meeting is being recorded. Madam Yasini, always Yes. Hello. There's some. There's some. Yeah, sorry, there are some people that are in very, very loud uh, places. Would you be able to get the the meeting in louder places? Okay, I hope I, I hope and pray. Okay, we're recording. Uh, welcome, welcome to the meeting. And uh, it's good to see you uh, all here. And um, yes, welcome once more and happy new year, 2023. Uh, a year of uh, more successes and blessings. We are not going to be here too much longer because of internet is always unfriendly, unfriendly. You can see people coming in, coming out. Okay, so um, let's just, okay, let me do this. Uh, probably this is gonna help. I'm going to share the agenda so that we can quickly uh, run through it. Okay, one second, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. This meeting is being recorded. All right. Uh, Ivan Sulkomana here, uh, CEO of CGT Group, uh, Germany, Hamburg, Elmson. Uh, this is a teacher's meeting that we having the very first one uh, this year, uh, 2023. Uh, so quickly, I'm going to share the... Uh, one second. Uh, where are we? Okay, I'm going to share the screen so that we have a look at the agenda together, though it was posted. We're going to follow it that way. I'm going to chair this meeting, and my co chair is our educational director, Mr. Kaluva. So, welcome, everybody. I hope you're able to. To see the screen, Mr. Kaluva, is the screen visible? Sir? Or oh, anybody to confirm? Are you able yes, to see the screen? Yes, uh, I can't yes, see you, apparently. Let me see. Oh, up to number sorry? six. Up oh, yeah, no six. problem. Then, mm. OK, I'm going to roll it as we progress. Yes, yes, thank you. Perfect, awesome. Uh, who is going to give us a prayer? Always, that's our motto, just a prayer. Is it Mr. Kaluva or anybody? One of the ladies? Ladies' prayers are very powerful. <laughs> Any volunteer to give us a prayer, opening prayer? Mr. Kaluva, you want to pray for us? We pray. Mm -hmm. Good Father, 
God the Holy Spirit, God the Son, we thank you for this day. Thank you so much. Now that you've given us the breath uh, that we can go on in this road, we thank you for the, all the issues we've just uh, opened our eyes so, so that we can see and try to help our learners and the needy. God, we would like you to go with us the whole of this year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So once more, number one, uh, welcome back. It's already been done. Um, uh, roll call teachers available in all regions uh, quickly. Um, feel free to open the microphone and just mention your name and what you teach. I begin. Can I begin? Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. Uh, I think the gadget you are using should you be able to tell us. Yes, uh, I'm Mr. Miti Timothy from Maninga Center. I teach mathematics and sociology. That's Thank you, Mr. Are you taking note? Perfect. The next person, uh, just because there are no names, it's difficult to call your names. Just open the microphone and introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Mr. James. Yeah, uh, good evening. Good yeah, it's afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> yes, uh, this is James Lundu Mwanza from Pongwe. It's uh, OPC. OPC at uh, lecturer, yeah. Yes. And uh, sciences, biology, physics, and chemistry. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Um, the next uh, Techno Pop 5. Techno Pop 5. Quickly open your microphone. Okay, any other person who can open while Techno is coming? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hawaii. I think that's Mr. Mate, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Mr. Mate, you can open. Oh, a little bit freezing. Okay. Uh, detail 14, Madam there. Okay, network, network. Uh, I heard the voice of uh, uh, Mr. Chisala. Mr. Chisala, are you there? Mm. Mr. Chisala? ETLP 37. Okay, yes, sir. How are you? Open microphone, sir. Open microphone. You are you are muted. Unmute yourself. You are still muted. <laughs> you talking to yourself, sir? Hello. Okay, madam. Hello. Mm -hmm. 
Your Hello. name, your subject. Hello, we can hear you. Your name, your subjects, and location. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Yes, my name please. is Emilia. My name, my name is Emilia Malambochisala. I'm from Mpongwe, uh, and I'm the manager. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. You are teaching any subjects? Okay, Mpongwe. I'm Emilia Malambo. Yes, wonderful. Are you teaching any modules, any subjects? Yeah, yeah. Okay, network. Uh, Madam, they are techno pop five. <laughs> good Hello. afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. I am Job Moape. This is Kalawa from Soloezi. Awesome, Mrs. Kalaba. I think English is it? Yes, sir. Am I right? For sure. Yeah, I remember. Uh -huh. English. <laughs> it's only English you have, or there's any other subject? The other subject is social studies, but I'm sure I was told the main interest is. Yes, yes, very good. English social studies, perfect. Yeah, because there are in social studies, there are other uh, modules you can teach from the other side of our uh, uh, skills, our uh, courses. English goes for general English yes. university foundation course. Wonderful. Thank you. Any other trainer? Sir, now you can come through. Okay, Mr. Kaluba, I think uh, let's just go ahead. It's difficult uh, transition with, uh, I hope you're gonna, okay, I come, I come back to the, to the screen agenda. Is it visible, Mr. Kaluba, sir? Yes, yes, it is. Wonderful, number two. Wonderful. Oh, no? So, mm -hmm, perfect. So, let's go to uh, where are we now? Continued courses by name. All right. Now, remember, everybody uh, here, we are talking about the programs that we started last year, not the programs to come. That's why here we say number three continued courses by name and please feel free to switch off your video if you have to save uh, data and to have proper connectivity so here continued courses by name mr kaluba uh which courses are we continuing here we are talking about uh, the three three courses UFC mm -hmm. program, US mm -hmm. Foundation course. We've got OPC, mm -hmm. Old People Care program. We've got mm -hmm. uh, WOBEG, Work and Business Exchange program, plus mm -hmm. OPEA program. Before, before I get confused. So WOBEG, mm -hmm. here we are looking at German language. Yeah. German language only, online German language mm -hmm. and WOBEG. Awesome. Yes, yes. Awesome. Okay, so that's one, two, yeah, three. Because I remember we said we suspended uh, agribusiness because of lack of proper, uh, lack of sufficient yes, yes. Uh, numbers. And we were going to add the very few we have to the new intake that we're going to be starting for 2023 after boosting up the enrollments. Yes, yes. Wonderful. Yes, yes. Wonderful. So these. Are the leaders of the courses perfect then number four point oh. number four 
Okay, you mentioned our pair. Uh, okay, our mm -hmm. pair, let's regard it not as a course because it's part of German language. Okay, okay, thank you. So we are going to say Wobeb uh, stroke our pair. Yeah, let's say that mm -hmm. because these they fall under that category. Perfect. So, oh, I think uh, I've seen Mr. Mulava, one of our directors is there. Welcome, Mr. Mulava. Yes, it should be here now. Mm -hmm. I invited him. Is there? Perfect. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. Number four, point number four. Okay. Our On number four. Already... Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. on, on number four, we've got centers running in Zambia as follows. Mpongwe. Mm -hmm. Then we go to Maninga. Then we come to Kitwe, Chimwemwe Center, Chimwemwe High School, mm -hmm. Chimwemwe Secondary High School. Mpongwe, Maninga. Mm -hmm. There are about three centers we have at the moment currently running. OK. So Mpongwe, Maninga, Kitwe, Chimwemwe High School. Yes, Kitwe, Chimwemwe uh, High School. What, what about, because uh, I'm told Usakile has got the greatest number in Kitwe, Usakile. Yes, Usakile has got the greatest number, but currently, yes, Usakile has got the greatest number currently, but we haven't yet started the lessons because of the issue of the teachers who boycotted the classes. Yeah, so we, but uh, we feared we, that uh, we shall refer these people to maybe if they can manage to go to Chimwemwe. Then we said, uh, if not, then the next time we start, we will continue with Uzakire. Okay, I remember that time. discussion. Yes, yeah, the discussion we had last time was Kitwe, sorry, what is it called? Chimwemwe and Uzakire, Chimwemwe. because I remember when Chimwemwe. <laughs> it's very, very far away. And uh, if we send them from Musakile to go to Chimwemwe, then we are not saving the purpose of uh, helping, uh, you know, the need because that will entail a lot of money, transport money. But I remember the last time we discussed with the, what are they called? The ESAs, International Students Ambassadors. I think they started organizing new teachers from Musakile that are within. Because Usakile, we never had uh, teachers at Usakile High School. There was only one, I think, uh, for chemistry, who was also coming from some other point. That's why we said, no, uh, let's not rely on teachers coming from distant places, but let them come from inside uh, the same school so that when they finish their, their program, they just uh, take a break then they jump on to the uh, CDT program. So here there is uh, an ESA who is in charge. What's the name again? Um, Mr. Anyway, I will remember the name. So after this meeting, we have to ask him yeah, how far he has gone with, because um, he communicated with the headmaster of Busaki. I think he even put up up some teachers, so we just have to confirm them. So inside Usakile, mm -hmm. so we're going to ask the ESA. Because mm -hmm. Usakile, there are so many, so many. Uh, we we just have to continue with them. Uh, or because anyway, we'll be discussing the next intake when it should be starting. Perfect. Okay, so Mpongwe, Maninga, Kitwich. Then Solwezi. No, what? Ah, wonderful. That was my next question. Solwezi Solue, Solue also last year was not active. That's when they are going to be active, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm sure, uh, I think Solwezi uh, teachers have been arranged according to the programs that are obtaining there. Yes. Because I believe Solwezi has, yes, has yes. only got UFC, something like that. Okay. Mm. So, yes, yes. Mpongwe already done, they have been flowing. Maninga done, has been flowing. 
solwezi okay to flow now mm -hmm. these teachers are done so the little question mark is only on usakile so we are going to follow it up today mm -hmm. perfect because okay. this is where we have um the number of students yes then what did you say about lusaka lusaka also if you remember sir lusaka because of lack of students we said lusaka would join online mm -hmm. yes online until the new intake isn't it new intake of 20 yes, yes. perfect we, we are on course. Any addition, sir? No, number four. I think those are the main centers which are active. Though mm -hmm. we've got uh, this uh, school, Mitanto and uh, mm -hmm. The issue also is the mm -hmm. teachers on the, at these two schools. We haven't come up with the mm -hmm. teachers at the moment who have shown interest to be on the program. But do we have students there? So we hope we have a few students which we opted that they may just uh, took to Chimwemwe High School for Bulangiriro and the Mitanto until such a time then we can get the teachers for these two places. Okay. Okay, anyway, those who can manage to go to Chimwemwe well and good, those who can't manage, I think if they have got smartphones, they can join online. Mm. I don't know, I keep feeling for, you know, traveling distances. <laughs> <laughs> traveling distances, the congestions, and anyway, uh, we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Because also, there are programs that are going to start in uh, other centers um, that are called unreachable. Uh, we discussed this with the Copper Belt, uh, Mamachi Kamaka and team, how this is going to be done. So I think the report should be coming today or tomorrow. They have figured out uh, centers that are in these deep you know, areas, not rural areas, but they are Copper Belt, but in in those deep Kwamulenga and so on and so forth. So uh, report comes today or tomorrow. Mm. All right, we're good to go. Perfect. Then number five. Number five. Uh, assignments given during holidays where assignments given during the holidays because i remember when we were closing or the secular uh, sorry one second i have to uh, you can yes you just can open the microphones to give us some feedback those who gave managed to give some assignment hello <coughs> Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Yes, go ahead, Hello. sir. Yes, this is Mr. Reed from Manyanga Center. Yes, I managed Mr. to give. Yes, I managed to give. Uh, one, Mr. But Mr. Mitch Timothy. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. I managed to give ahead, one math. I managed to give one mathematics assignment and two sociology assignments. Thank you so much. So I gave out okay. three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, sir. And sociology, sociology, uh, math, sociology, and which one? The third Mats. one, sir, sorry. Uh, I've got math, two. sociology. Two, uh, just two, two. Oh. two math and one sociology. Ah, perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Any other teachers that give assignments? Hello. 
Yes, I'll go Hello. ahead. Yes, this is uh, Mwanza James from Mpongwe. Hello? Go ahead, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, so as assignments I managed to give in uh, OPC one. Then uh, biology, I've given two. And uh, for physics, one. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, any any other teachers that give up, gave assignments? Mm -hmm. Only two, only Hello. two gave assignments. Hello. 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 Hello, good afternoon. Hello, sir. Afternoon, Noah Kalinda here. Thank you. Yeah, from Pongwe and talking of uh, the holiday assignments, I just want yes, to sir. confirm to say uh, the strategy that I used was not to engage the students during the holiday, but I had to give them the assignments before uh, the holiday could commence so that they could go and at least be kept busy during the holidays. So all the classes that I handle and the courses I handle are mathematics, computer science, and those in agro, uh, uh, agribusiness, as well as those doing uh, economics. So I made sure that all my students went with assignments uh, to go and work on them during holidays so that when once we open, we are going to tackle the assignments once and for all and answer them consensually as a group so that we all move at one point and accord. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. So it was more or less like a research assignment. They research, then you come and work them together. Exactly, exactly. Sounds great. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Perfect. Any other lectures with assignments? Feedback? Okay. All right. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for those presentations. We're going to go back to the uh, agenda. So assignment. Okay, assignments given during holidays. Successful there. Okay. Perfect. Let's go to number six. Working abilities. All right. No, actually, uh, for the centers that we are running, uh, on behalf of CDT Group, I'll just love to say that um, we appreciate the classes uh, you conducted. Uh, went on so well. Uh, we didn't receive no complaints. Complaints, and um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So let's keep uh, the momentum going. Uh, uh, like that, and um, it's really good uh, that uh, we're giving the uh, uplift to the needy, the vulnerable that never knew they would one time be behind uh, the desk. And um, this year is really going to be much better as it were uh, last year when we commenced. We've learned quite a lot of lessons and uh, in terms of management approaches into this and that. And um, yes, the little feedbacks that we've been getting, we've been putting them together and working towards uh, uh, solving and finding solutions to that. So that's really great. And uh, yes, punctuality also was vital, which uh, uh, you observed. And um, that's really, really great. And uh, I keep saying that if we can do it that way, in a nicer way, even when uh, there are no fun, funds available, what more when the funds are coming, I think we are going to climb the moon. 
um, this is really good. And um, we really have to keep up. And uh, in case you didn't know, uh, when the government gave us the permission to use its premises <clears throat> in any province for our uh, project or programs, study programs in this case, um, they told the DEBs, they told the DEBs, and the DEBs who communicated with the head uh, masters or head teachers to like monitor us see to it that uh, where classes are running, they should be running effectively uh, so that, you know, uh, the contract is renewed. We got an initial contract of two years, 2022 to December, end of year 2024, two years. So when we please the state or the government in such a regard for such a rare opportunity they gave us, um, then they are going to renew uh, our contract even further and uh, continue getting even other further benefits. And, uh, you know, in case you didn't know, some of the benefits um, that we enjoy now is the great backup of uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, which received us in Zambia, uh, working in collaboration together with the Zambian uh, Embassy in Berlin. We are always, I think we are going to, to share the report we gave to the uh, Zambian Embassy in Berlin and uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, just, you know, uh, because they told us, give us feedback, the successes you are facing, the failures, and we did a report from the HQ, we're going to share it to you, so that as, you know, our partners, teachers, you also are abreast. So, you are teaching from the Zambian side, you are not just in Zambia, you are on the international level. So the picture that we give to the students, how we teach them, the reports are going to the foreign ministry, ministry of education, ministry of agriculture and community development, those are closer ones. Uh, the vice president's office is always asking how the programs are going because we were received by uh, High Excellency, Dr. Nanumango, and of course, her receiving us, it means the big boss himself, His Excellency, Agane Chlema, supports uh, the venture. And of course, we received some write-up from uh, the State House itself. So it's a big stuff that we're doing. We keep doing good. And uh, even Germany, you know, gets a feedback. You know, these people don't sleep, all right? It's these programs that uh, Tukatene CDT is running, Zambia, how is it going? So the embassy of Zambia in Berlin, Got to give the truthful report so far, so good. Yes, we, are, we have had some uh, hiccups where, you know, to start in some centers uh, were delayed, but we explained all those things and the reasons why, but we promise that this year we are going to uh, make it much, much better. Hello, Hello. 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 Cost moment, one second. Ah, okay, that is there. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. No, somebody. Uh, so, really, really great. Uh, Mr. Kaluba, anything to add on, sir? Uh, no, no, no. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Awesome. Go ahead, Thank you. Sir. Seven. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, Thank well done, great teachers. Seven, educational exchange program, seriousness, teachers and students. I'm going to start with uh, old schools. You know, uh, like I said one time, we need your involvement as teachers. This educational exchange program is not between uh, students here in Germany from private and uh, state institutes. It also involves educational exchange with teachers, okay? So what are we doing? What we've been doing with the students is um, we create topics to discuss, then the students in Zambia or in Ghana or in Ukraine, anywhere, they come together 
and converse, uh, Mr. Milaba can testify. Uh, uh, his class, his school attended one of them, uh, which we had, I think uh, the last one was with the Kabwe High School. It was a crossfire questions, answers from each side. Wonderful. Now, there's also a part of teachers coming together. So how do we do it? Take advantage our great teachers in Zambia there. Come up with certain topics of discussions, teacher, teachers to teachers. We organize here teachers from, for instance, private institutes, or uh, I prefer normally, you know, state, uh, state schools because of the benefits that we get at the end of the day, okay? So teachers, you can come up with some themes, topics, say, oh, Mr. Komona, we are Maninga, or we are Mpongwe, or we are Chimwemwe, uh, or we are Usakile, you know, anywhere where we have. So that's one of the benefits those centers can do. We connect them to the schools in Germany. It starts with discussions. From discussions, goes to visitations. Visitations goes to materials, having materials. You know, in Germany, when you build up such a relationship first, when they are happy with that, they say, oh, wow, come on what computers don't we need now we have to recycle stuff. Let's send to Zambia, let's send to Chimamwe school. Let's send to Sakile, Mpongwe and stuff. And these materials, when they are sending, they aren't going to only be used by our students, even because they have to be put in libraries, in computer rooms of those schools. So even those schools, pupils or students, they benefit as well like that. So teachers, come up this year as soon as possible, January, start thinking of themes. And uh, what I would even propose is a teacher to teacher exchange before we go individual schools, yeah? We do like the first one we can have, let's say five different centers in Zambia, okay? Plus some centers in Germany coming together, Ken and learning, knowing each other. Then we can go uh, specialization. So much we are meeting, let's say, if we are having such exchanges every three weeks or once a month, this is a bond, ladies and gentlemen, we are creating a strong one. So let's start thinking about that. It could be, you know, anything. School system, maybe the first topics could be school systems in Germany versus school systems in Zambia. Next topic, you know, think about anything, something that is going to build Germany, also something that is going to build Zambia. And guess what? When we started the education exchange program, it was just like Zoom, Skype, Skype, Zoom, Zoom. Now, I think I was announcing last year, the director, uh, of education, uh, Dr. Kelba Brett. William, some of you, you know him, he's been on our meetings. We've been running exchange program together when uh, we introduced it as DLI at that time. So we went to him to say, look, this is, and today is even our consultant, okay? And he said, ah, Mr. Lukomona, come on. Why don't you now, next year, meaning this year, bring some Zambian youths aged, I think, between, uh, tw is it 20? Between 18, mature, 18 to 20, 27 or 30 years, I have to check again, on a program called uh, Kindakara Vane, okay? This is where uh, their organization invite students from all over the world. Normally they deal with uh, South America. So they said, we want to break, uh, some record now from Southern part. Zimbabwe came last year. I think they were just going about some, uh, for three months, 90 days, they were going back, uh, I think, two, last month or two months ago. December. December, yeah, very good. Yes, so now they want Zambia. Imagine how many students we have to pull from Zambia, I think should be 20 or 21, Minim something like that. Minim minimum of 20. Minimum of 20, something like that. So it's a yes. great achievement. And these boys and girls are going to be in Germany one month, I think Spain one month, Switzerland. So teachers, let's really, really get involved as well and make this big. Their benefits are so high. You can imagine even yourselves as teachers, you want to further your studies, 
you know, maybe you've got a diploma, you want a bachelor, you've got a bachelor, you want masters. These are inside ed educational exchange program. It's very easy to be recognized and uh, uh, cross over here, free education in Germany here, no fees uh, at any level from preschool to PhD, you know, so let's take advantage. When such things come, do you feel like a sham quiet? Then, uh, so, uh, the, why I'm, I've written here old schools, because there are schools that have been on the program, like uh, Kabwe High School, uh, Mr. Mwilaba School there, is it Kiawama? Kiawama joined in, uh, which others? Kamala's been there. Uh, Livingstone. Kamala. In wow. Livingstone. Yeah, Livingstone. Uh, David, is it David Cowan? David Hillcrest. Hillcrest. No, Hillcrest. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hillcrest. No. Yeah, Hillcrest. Uh, Lusaka, also Lusaka girls. Yeah, Lusaka, Lusaka girls. Pioneers. But now what I've come to figure out sometimes is that but to realize what is very nice and progressive, sometimes people go slow. So such kind of opportunities, hold them, hold, hold them. And uh, also soon we are going to add from German side, another private, very private international school, which went through what we do and said, oh, we wanna be part as well. So let's go for it and um, so Mr. Milava there, Sorwezi, you tested already that exchange, build on it with your great teachers here and see what we can go on. Number eight, uh, EEP leaders needed education exchange from the teaching staff. Yes, just a continuation from seven. So for us to succeed, okay, we need people that are going to submit their names. I would love to be a leader of EEP, Educational Exchange Program staff. Then we are going to guide you, give you some training, how to go about the EEP. And we introduce you to, uh, you know, the partner schools in Germany so that directly you are able to communicate just like we introduced uh, Mr. Mwilava and uh, one of the ladies there, the staff from his school, not from CDT group, of course, that time. And uh, also we introduced, uh, Kawe, what's the name? Kawe, one of our managers in Kawe. Mr. Muluwa. Mr. Muluwa, very good. Mr. Muluwa also, and one of uh, the staffs there, we just exchanged, okay? But uh, apparently, sorry to say this, we received, I received some mail saying, no, what's happening? Uh, uh, are the two schools not interested in EEP? You know, there's no communication. So ladies and gentlemen, these people, they are advanced, they have got, everything that we are looking for in Zambia. Let's knock on them doors. Let's push them. Let's have AEP. Let's have an exchange for the reasons that I've mentioned. So that in, in the year, by the end of the year, next, we've just got a swift flow between Germany and Zambia. Germany and Zambia flying, coming for seminars. This is the focal point. So let's go about uh, that number nine education exchange program EEP new high schools in Zambia added. So uh, here I think we added uh, we added Chimwemwe where I started my grade one. <laughs> no, but after uh, why should I forget my school? Yeah, Chimwemwe it used to be Chimwemwe A Primary School then, and uh, so now it's. It's been high school, I think, for some time. So we added Chimwemwe, I want to say Chimwemwe A, Chimwemwe High School. And we forwarded, we connect, we interchanged the contacts from Chimwemwe High School, the shoe, what is shoe lighter, the head, I think the deputy head had some stuff there to one of the schools in Germany here. I'm sure this, uh, because of we had holidays here, so anytime this month, there should be a live exchange program. So in advance, we are, of course, we are going to post, we are inviting you, all of you teachers, when this exchange comes, with Chimwemwe High School and one of the high schools in Germany, attend so that you can get 
the gist and uh, you know uh, of it all. So we've got Chimwemwe. Um, which other ones did we? Uh, Chimwemwe, Usakile itself. Usakile. Uh, yeah, Chimwemwe, I think, and Usakile. I was counting four new ones. Well, maybe you can remind me which other ones are we added to education exchange program? Uh, ah, yeah. Uh, Maninga. Yes. Maninga, as I think uh, we communicated this to the uh, partners here. Maninga, is it? Me, uh, do we have Honorable here? Uh, what's the name of that school in Maninga, Mr. Kaluba, where we are using? Loloma. Loloma. Uh -huh, yes. Loloma. Yeah. So Loloma, we have we forwarded, be ready. Uh, you are on the program. Then in Pongwe as well. Yeah, Maninga Loloma. So Pongwe as well. Mm -hmm. On this EEP. So this is a great builder that we are having more from Zambia, the EEP schools. Before it was just Lusaka, of course, anybody would say a capital city, but it's great. We've gone this way, wonderful. Um, I think so far, these are the ones. Then, uh, yeah, new added schools. Number 10, teaching aids, yes. Thank, thank you so much uh, uh, for having had struggled with some teaching aids like chore, pieces of chalk, paper, and this and that. So like we promised last time, uh, towards the month end of January, we are going to uh, start furnishing you with the teaching aids. Then as well, there are some places, deep places where there are no, what are they called? Where there are no, um, not rural areas, I mentioned earlier on. They can't okay. travel to come to that. Yeah, yeah, perfect. So we are sending some system there from here, some nice portable uh, monitors uh, and beamers that can transmit um, some classes to them, for instance, uh, and want to install some modems there, uh, portable as well. For instance, if somebody is teaching from Germany or somebody is teaching from, let's say, Chimwemwe, mounts that monitor, it sends the signals or the lectures, you know, to be beamed, Kwamolenga, Kwakapoto, and kind of uh, the like. So uh, we are sending uh, such materials towards the end of uh, January. And so that uh, by February, everything is blown, <coughs> blown off. It's, it goes so well. And other, any other teaching aids. Thank you so much for having used your initiatives before. So we'll try and make it much, much better this year. Uh, number 11, uh, pending salaries. Yes, um, actually, once more apologies that we, we couldn't, just like we wrote in uh, our, on the contracts that we sent at our programs, uh, uh, depend on the funding, and uh, uh, then you'll be able to pay and backdated salaries. So I believe and trust that this January, February, we should be you know, uh, having some income, and uh, one of the, um, major incomes we are depending on is the application that we have made to the GIZ, that's a department of the German uh, government. And uh, we started communicating, of course, last late last year, and also fundraising together with uh, His Excellency, Akaide Chilema. Uh, we had applied uh, to fundraise with him. Uh, that was uh, last year, I think, um, according to the instructions of uh, his business, uh, UPND business, what is it called? Finance and business activities. That's Mr. Molaisho. Um, soon, some of you 
be attending the meetings. So what we wanted to do the fundraising in Zambia, then they told us to say, uh, that's the organizing committee of these uh, UPND says, no, why don't you organize the fundra fundraising uh, be staged in Germany? Because since he became president, he's never been to Germany. And um, so we're gonna do this. When he's coming to any other summit or meetings in uh, a European country, then we are going to add the Twikatane fundraising venture for our projects in Zambia, right in Hamburg, here in Germany, which sounded very good. So we were told, write everything, we wrote everything, where we are fundraising mainly to meet this and that and that and that and that. A uh, few have noticed he's been uh, on several fundraising ventures uh, in Zambia, and I think that's one reason they said, instead of having it in Zambia, he has had too many of such. So you people, it's better you bring him you invite him to Hamburg. And here we've been doing our part, uh, communicating with the Rat House. Uh, that's the Rat House is uh, like the Hamburg, because Germany is a federal state. The headquarters of the federal state of Hamburg, this is what we are planning. And I think we've done uh, the very best so far according to instructions from uh, Zambia. So now what we're waiting for uh, is to give us the fixed debt because before it was uh, presumed that he was going to be in Europe somewhere in January. I think that was upon the invitation by French President, um, Excellency Sarkozy. So now we haven't gotten the feedback that it would happen on 17th because this time we could have uh, received, but we sent another letter, I think was it yesterday or I think on second, no, second was holidays. On third January, we sent uh, another letter just to follow up when this is going to happen. And uh, we even added on to say what we can do is, as we are waiting for the German one, uh, fundraising, we can do a double. We start with Zambia, then the German comes forth. So uh, God willing, uh, probably gonna get a feedback uh, next week and we are going to let you know. So this is how we're spreading our fundraising uh, uh, ventures. We are more versatile now than previously and uh, our financial problems um, will be a thing of a history because we intend to raise so much and uh, to be funded so much which we can use with managers, teachers, and any other uh, staff uh, for our projects and programs. So that's what I can say on number 11. So just some little bit more of patience and uh, we keep praying together that let it rain and it's going to rain soon. Number 12. Uh, Ah, and on number 11, sorry, Mr. Mitty, once more, I didn't respond on the group. <laughs> when, when I shared Happy New Year, Mr. Mitty says, <laughs> we are having... Uh, Thank you. We are having a happy new year for the empty <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. This is the best, the best Christmas. <laughs> oh, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, sir. <laughs> uh, and we are planning uh, something good when funds are coming as early as possible. You know, we do some come together, you know, uh, party, uh, meet somewhere in some province and just, you know, uh, know each other, uh, not uh, by physical, not just by Zoom. Uh, God is with us. And uh, or number 12, enrollments, new summer intake, the summer intake uh, for February, March. So uh, the brochures are done. I think tomorrow or Saturday weekend, we should be sharing the new brochures because what we have done is we have split the brochures, not like we did before, everything congested in one brochure, you know, it was so clustered. So according to advice, we have done, for instance, this course, with its own brochure, this course with its own brochure. 
So if somebody, the applicant is coming to say, I want to do agribusiness, the managers out there, the heads of departments, teachers, you just forward uh, for agribusiness. Somebody one says, I want to do a computer science, you just forward computer science. It becomes easier and not so much information. People get lost along the way because I remember with the students you are teaching now, some would even inbox. Somebody has, on the, has been on the program, doesn't know why he or she is taking such a combination. They know I'm um, taking mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology. So what course can I do at the end of the day? I said, no. But when you applied, you should have, you come with a bachelor degree to say, I'm going to do, for instance, uh, engineering. That's why you got those sciences. They are tailored to engineering. Okay, there's no way we are going to give you such courses, uh, such a combination if you want to become, uh, to do business administration. So you have to fall in the, in the other stream. So this time what we have done is each brochure with its own undergraduate, but before, because of Zambian system, they have to go through UFC, foundation course. And foundation, we have stressed because of this course, you need A, B, C, D modules and make sure you pass in this and that module to be on a safe side so it's going to be much much easier so um, i think uh, the the new intake is going to be coming through i think we're going to start some uh, you know what is it called inaugurations inaugurations towards the end of february something like that uh, normally inauguration is one week uh, just like we did with these uh, guys. So that uh, first week of March, the piece of chalk is on the board. Uh, so before we come to number 13, teachers, developmental suggestions and contributions. Now I've got something extra here. Yes, uh, just uh, quickly on uh, uh, communication. Communication by staff and teachers. Uh, let's stick, please, to, to the rules. There are certain things, for instance, if uh, it affects everybody, yes, it can be posted on a group. And um, But if it affects you as a person, uh, it's better you, just like we wrote to you in the contract, better you send an email so that that is uh, dressed. And um, one other thing also, for the UFC, uh, because they had lost some time last year. So we are going to do some intensive and we are going to increase the number of hours to teach. To teach. Just not like you've seen Monday, maybe two hours mathematics. Again, you have to wait for next uh, Monday. No, we are going to uh, cluster the number of hours and uh, also some classes wanna be coming online uh, where students students can log in those okay want to uh, maybe also get some more stuff uh, so the combination is going to be you are teaching on the ground and online also uh, some of us from germany here we're going to be coming online german language and some other uh, modules and so on and so forth so that because if you've seen they've only got six months to finish the whole syllabus with some of you have done some stuff from that syllabus. Others will be starting, like uh, Solwezi. Oh, one second. Ah, ah Thomas, it will be knock here. Please do. <laughs> yeah, it will be knock a per minute. Yeah, it will be a in first end. Yeah, it will be a digital. Thank you, sir. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Sorry about that. Great. And uh, yes, so some of you, you want to be coming through as well online. Same time you are teaching physically, you place your gadget there, it transmits somewhere. We we'll see how we're going to synchronize that. That's what I wanted to add on. Now, what we can do is uh, in the few minutes before closing, any contributions, developmental suggestions, contributions from our good teachers there? 
Uh, maybe Mr. Kaluva, before the teachers come in, any word? Uh, thank you. Uh, let's maybe we face a finish of number yeah. 13, then we can come in later on. Awesome, awesome. Yes, yes. Awesome. So, teachers, please feel free. Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Open microphone. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Mate. Yes, sir. My question is, uh, some of us who are starting in Solwezi, you told us that you sent us a contract. Uh, you've not sent us the contract. That is just my, my question. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. I see. Um, Mr. Kaluba. Yes, sir. We are not done with the contract. We are not done with contracts. No, because so I, gave you the, I gave you the information that uh, these people will, they will need contracts. Then you promised to do the contracts. So I don't know whether the contracts okay. are ready now because I'm still also no. waiting to hear that uh, they've received the contracts. Okay. No one has called me that he has received any. Mm, okay, I, you should have uh, reminded us. Oh. <laughs> we, we were on holiday. holiday. Yes. No problem. Because the contracts are there, uh, it's just a question of, uh, all right, today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday. Okay, let's say tomorrow we start sending you the contracts. It's a promise. Tomorrow, let's finish the contracts. Thank you for that, Mr. Mate. Perfect. Any other? Oh, yeah. Techno pop. Yes. Okay. It's unfortunate that the network here was Your name, very please. poor. Name, so I'm, I'm, I'm Jock Bedmoa. I'm Jock Bedmoa, Mrs. Kalaba. Ah, Mrs. Kalaba. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was saying it, it's unfortunate network here was very poor, so I missed most of the points that oh, you raised uh, yes i was very interested in knowing about the eep before oh. i come oh. to the teaching oh no actually what we can do we discuss a lot on eep we, we can go through again uh, for, okay. the sake, for your sake we are, we are going to share the recording okay all right we are going to share okay. the recording. Uh, I think we are going to. I think there's a system where we can change YouTube uh, and just the, the voice. Yes, yes. So easy download. Okay. Yeah, okay. the voice, voice is, is much better. Voice yeah. will be much better. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Then the other thing was Don't about worry. the same teaching. When are yes, the Solwezi students likely to start? When are the Solwezi likely to start learning? Oh, you are not on you are not on the group, the teachers' group, Madam Kalaba. There is a group where I am, but it's uh we have not started teaching, Mr. Kalaba. Maybe you yes, can sir. shed more light about that. No, 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 no. What I'm asking you, wait, I'm asking you, are you not on the teachers, new teachers group? Because information we've been posting there, updates. Hmm. So 
far, there's a new group that I saw today. Maybe that's the one. Yes, you were again. That's the one, madam. Oh, that's the one. I saw it. That's the one. Today. I was just added to the okay. 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 That's the ah. one. And the, the issue of Usolwezi students with effect from Monday next week, they start proper classes. We had an okay. issue. We no, had Mr. no Gabi. teachers. No, we Mr. had Gabi. no teachers. For, yes, for yes, the, no teachers. Mr. Kaluba, teaching, yes, we are starting on we are starting on 16th, as far as I'm concerned. 16th in, next, after next week? Ma the other Monday? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we posted uh, two days ago. Let me see. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, here. We've got, we posted three documents. Okay. UFC calendar. Uh, yeah, I've seen that one. Yes, three. Yes. Open, open your semester. And oh. Okay, all okay. starting on I've seen it. Over. Yeah. So, Madam Kalaba, 16th, 16th. that's when everybody starts across the 16th, January. All right. Mm -hmm. January. Let me do this, Madam Kalaba. As we are talking, okay. let me report since you just got added, and probably others who just got added. Uh, I'm reposting the updates, the calendars. Yes. Mm -hmm. These calendars they posted. They, uh -huh, they explain the holiday, the breaks we are going to have, when the exams are starting, when the results are coming. Complete data, please look at that. Yeah, perfect. Okay, thank you so much. You are welcome, madam. But as you listen to the recording, please I listen so much to the EEP. We have mentioned a lot of things that we need the teacher's involvement in the educational exchange program between Zambia and Germany. Awesome. Uh, Intel, Intel P37, Intel P37. Hello, yeah, this is Noah again. Oh, yes. Mr. Noah, yes, sir. Uh, Yes, so ju just the concern on the, the the pending salaries. Uh, just it's just the concern that I'm trying to raise, and looking at looking at the fact yeah, the, looking at the oh, fact the, the the point that have have been raised already. Been raised. We are we are waiting on the fundraising events and whatnot. And as we are talking, the salaries or the monies are not yet in our hands as a group, as, at, uh, as, as an organization, so to say. So I was suggesting to say, yes, I understand that this is a free program where students are not meant to pay anything aside from the registration fee. But why wouldn't students be told to pay just a little, a little that they can afford within their means, then the, from the little that they can pay in addition to the registration, those, that, that money can be used to service some of the needs that are required uh, in these various centers. We are lacking uh, teaching materials such as chalk, uh, yeah, such a simple chalk. But if students actually, actually, from what I know, the registration fee, the registration fee is supposed to service such needs. So I don't know what what you are what you are thinking going forward to or, or where you want to place the registration fee of the same students that will be coming. So at least a portion of it goes to service the needs of the school, if possible. Uh, even the lecturers, we can be given a, 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 the little from that amount, so that we are not mm -hmm. we are not completely down. It's demotivating. Mm -hmm. it, it it becomes. I understand we are supposed to work together and have that maximum mm -hmm. patience. Patience exercise it at all cost. But at uh, some people, we some people are weak souls, so it might demotivate mm -hmm. them. But to avoid such, at least from the little that the students are paying, 
that remains after servicing the needs such as provision of the learning materials and what not as we are waiting for the funds to come from funds to come from our funders we can at least we, it it can it can help us to forge ahead i i, I want you to, to to consider that and maybe start start to think in that direction it's just a suggestion i think in that manner we can at least become a self sustained we can become self sustained centers yes. awesome uh, Awesome, sir. In fact, um, I have to mention this. I don't know why I forgot to mention this point. Probably because it's mentioned in the brochures. You know, when we uh, these students we are having now, yeah, uh, I think the recruiting centers did a good job in recruitment, but they didn't follow uh, strictly who is supposed to be on totally free. We had mentioned to say, look, a person to register a needy or vulnerable has to bring from uh, Mr. Kloba, is it from the council or some office in, in Zambia, is it? Proof to say I am orphan, for instance, or my parents don't work and stuff, then they qualify. But mm -hmm. those- well, Yes, yes, yes from the council, is vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Very good. So those who have got parents, they have to pay something. But now our recruiters were just paying. Some didn't even pay this 150 kwacha registration. They were just coming with maybe 20 kwacha, 30 kwacha. Then we said, okay, let's do it. But this year now, you are going to see, it's a beautiful one. What you have talked about is what we have done. The new students, okay? We have two categories, the vulnerable and the non-vulnerable students. Non-vulnerable students, of course, they are coming for on free uh, education, but there are fees that are a breakdown that are going to education, uh, administration fee, uh, that and that, uh, staff maintenance. I think in total, when we add all those fees, uh, this time it's not going to be free as such. They are got these people we call them coming from you know uh, a payable background to meet this. I think each student this time is going to be paying like uh, almost 3,000 kwacha for the whole program course. Okay. Only those now we are going to be strict. And Mr. Kalaba, you've got to get it here. Only those that are going to come with council staff to say, I'm orphan and this and that. Even this, you know, breakdown, I can't pay. They are the ones we are going to say, okay, this is the fee you are going to manage to contribute throughout a certain period of time. But as we start the recruitment uh, next week with a new program, so we expect every student to pay about uh, something like uh, 3,000 kwacha, and we're going to, that's also one of the sources of income. Thank you so much for taking me back to that one. We've got some five minutes. Any, any that was a great contribution. Any other contribution? Hawaii. Ah, uh, Mr. Mate was there already. Okay. Do you know any other contributions, Mr. Kaluba? Anything to say? Uh, to end up with Mr. Mulaba, if you've got something. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Any conclusions? Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me just see maybe one or two issues I just want to cement on. I know that everyone here on the platform here had an opportunity to read through the contract, which I take it that everyone understood the contents of all that contract. Hence the appending that uh, of signatures that uh, they, which is binding them to our organization. But uh, one worrying issue 
which has been always been an eyebrow issue is of the salaries and allowances. But uh, what I can say on this one is uh, it was really stated in, in black and white that uh, as when and you, when the monies are made available, that's the time we shall be given those uh, monies to work for. Now you find that uh, every two weeks, I'm always confronted with the same issues. When are we getting paid? That doesn't really go well, because when I look at the contract, it tells me something else. So I think since you've now heard it yourselves, teachers, I think this will come to an end. It will be a thing of the past. Let's just forge ahead and try to uh, do what we are supposed to do because uh, our organization relies on the premises of helping the needy. We are not uh, with the upper members uh, children, no. We are with the needy, those who are vulnerable. Those are the people we are in trying to uplift their standard of living. So with the allowances, let's just be a little bit patient. We shall reap because what we are doing is we are investing in God's kingdom. And God doesn't really slumber. He's looking at what you are putting in and definitely is going to reward us handsomely. And you won't even regret spending your time with our organization. On the issue of recruitment, maybe this year we've changed a little bit of a strategy. We shall be very, very strict. Not the way the, our recruiters did last time, they messed us up and we had no option but to bring everyone on board. And up to now, I'm still receiving phone calls that some of them they haven't even yet received their acceptance letters. So I've got no option, I just bring them on so that I can add them to the uh, intake in 2023. That's how we are playing it. We shall see how best we can uh, uh, talk to these who have been doing the uh, recruitment so that they tell the people the truth, how we are supposed to do things, not the way they think the things can be done. No, we've got a system to follow, which is guided by rules and regulations. I think uh, that's my comment. I think maybe Mr. 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 Milava can uh, chip in as well. Thank you so much. Before, 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 thank you so much, sir. Thanks so much. Uh, coach, yeah. before Mr. Milaba comes in, because I mean, when the recruitments were done, later on we came to we came to Zambia uh, to do operations, and we had opportunities to meet vulnerable people. I was laughing, you know, some vulnerables we saw. Yes. <laughs> you know the clothes they were wearing, iPhone. The iPhone is the most expensive phone now. But this is a vulnerable who never paid anything. So the system was really mixed up. Mm. People just took advantage of someone programs. You can imagine. But this, yeah, let, let us allow this one. But yes. the next intake, this January, yes. uh -uh, we are going to be very, very strict. If somebody comes, I'm vulnerable without a letter from approval. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes. you in Germany. Yes. That's why we're having even some of, like Mr. Noah said, if those people are mm. paid, at least some won summer registrations, even these issues, mm. we could have met somewhere, but it was just come, 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 come. Well and good. We have learned some lesson, like Mr. Kalva says, we could the vulnerable and the elite. The elite are the ones, those that are going to pay. Come 3,000 kwacha for our program. No, I'm vulnerable, go and bring ABCD. No, ABCD, you're not coming to our class. We are helping also. Of course, we are helping them. Uh, that's God's blessings, but we need to eat. Also, next time, I don't want when we are coming to Zambia to use our pocket money for flights. <laughs> Mr. Krava, we need tickets to be bought from Zambia, okay, <laughs> from the money that we got from the students. That's what it's supposed to be. We've sacrificed a lot, just like Mr. Moore said. Okay, so uh, things are going to be well and are going to be well. Uh, yes, please. Is that the old hand or a new one, Intel? Yes, this is Noah Kalinda again. Wonderful, sir. Yes, uh, just a question, and I, it's a, just a quick question, and it will need just a quick answer. 
in uni in universities yeah. where we've been uh I, I was at cbu for about four years each, each time each time each time you open school a student is required to pay what we used to call a registration fee are we going to follow the similar format or that registration fee will only be paid at the start of somebody buying that acceptance uh, that uh, that form application form that's a good one Before, yeah. close the microphone sir you, you mean for these continuing students or now the the new students the gen the summer intern i mean yeah. the continuing students because each each term uh each term you are supposed to pay a registration fee then that registration fee it covers your needs if there is uh, let's say if somebody has called critical any emergency that one tackles yes. the emergency That's that has happened yes so every student is in every university is required to pay that registration fee and it keeps on reducing let's say if it starts at first year you pay 2000 like in myself at cbu we paid the 2400 mm -hmm. when we went to second year they scrapped off that 400 and it became 2000 when we went in third year it became a 1600 and finally when we did the final ones at fourth year it was a uh, 1,300 and something plus. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Mr. Kaluba, you've heard that one? One? You've heard Mr. Kaluba? Mr. Kaluba, are you there? Okay, Mr. Kaluba, I think the connectivity. Uh, Thank you so much, uh, lecturer Noah. Let's follow that one. We are going to follow that one. Because us, we, you know, that's why you say a man of man, but we are used to the German system. We only pay once, once on a semester, it becomes what is free education, but there is there administrative and management fee. If it's 100 euros per semester, it will be 100 euros until you finish. So what you have brought, because you have never paid uh, any other fees since we started. I think Mr. Kaluva, let's buy into Mr. Noah's uh, proposal. I like that one. No matter how much little we are going to ask the students, let them drop something uh, this time around. Wonderful. And even Mr. Kaluva, to make follow-ups on those, a lot of them promised, but up to now, we haven't seen any records of them paying the little that we charge them with 150. Thank you so much, Mr. Noah. We are going to buy into that one. Yes. I like that one. Because this is the last semester they are having now, and they are, the course is getting to an end. So they have to uh, do that. Mr. Kaluva, you got that one? Mr. Mis Before Mr. James comes in? Mr. Did you hear that one? Yes, yes, I got it. Yeah. Partially. Yeah. yeah. Partially. Yeah. Partially. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah, it. You mentioned that uh, in Zambian system, for instance, every semester, yeah, register. You have when you maybe open, if you he can repeat himself. First year they, he paid, no, no, they, they were paying two thousand. Then it went on reducing. The speaker had yeah, just yeah. left the platform. We still talk about the two thousand quarter. It's yeah, but in our case, we can't <laughs> talk about such volumes because we are talking about mm. these vulnerables. Mm. You were saying that every semester in Zambia, for instance, CBU, you, you start with so much 2,400, the next semester 2,000, the other semester maybe 1,005 until it reduces. So we were saying with these ones continuing. Since the uh, I concur with him, since it's the last semester they are doing before their exams, I think we can ask them to contribute another registration fee for the last and final semester. 
So we just have to think of which figure we're going to ask the students to pay. Is it a 150 again or a 200 kwacha? So I buy into that idea uh, from Mr. Noah. So let's uh, we'll discuss it behind the curtain. But thank you so much. Mr. James, Lundu, Nonza again? Yes, uh, um, mine is just, uh, well, it's not about the finances and the like. Yeah. I just want to take you back to the meeting that we had, should be about two, three weeks ago, uh, where you had highlighted uh, the need for training lecturers, as in uh, those who want to upgrade. So I wanted mm -hmm. you to shed more light on that one, as in uh, when the program is likely to start and uh, the requirements, because last time it was just highlighted, we didn't get more information on that one. Yes. Yes. Excellent, wonderful, wonderful. Normally, uh, what we planned was, for instance, if yeah. a teacher has been, yes, sir? Oh, Mr. Glover is having problems with internet. Uh, Mr. Glover, I'm, I'm responding to Mr. James Lundu. Okay, I is lost. Ah. Yes, thank you very much. So, yes, sir. Okay, okay I'm okay, just I'm, responding to okay, Mr. Okay, I'm getting you now. Okay. Perfect. I'm just responding to Mr. Lundu on uh, further training for our staff. So, I was saying that uh, a new teacher, the way okay. we uh, discussed it, a new teacher, for instance, ahead, has to. Thank you. <laughs> sure, sir. A new teacher has to be with. One second. A new teacher or new teachers uh, who is interested in furthering training uh, or education has to be with us, of course, teaching for at least, let's say, uh, one year. Thereafter, that is to further education. Thereafter, we are guaranteed this has been our partner teacher. Then we can help that teacher to further study, uh, let's say, in Germany. Of course, there are local trainings, but our focal point is to come and access free education in Deutschland. Like I said, you want to come, you've got a diploma, you want to come for bachelor, it's free of charge. Master's free, PhD, you've got a master, you want to do PhD, you want to take advantage. So you can, um, when you've done almost one year with us, you can dec declare interest. Then the only thing we do from our side is just to provide you such kind of universities, okay, where you feel that you can start making applications in advance. That's the way. Uh, and Germany, uh, in, oh, sorry. Please check microphones. Okay. So in Germany, there are double index, the German system, there are summer index which start in um, March, March or April, uh, May or June. Then there's also the winter intake, which starts in September or October or November, few courses starting in December. So two entries and all these international students, you have to apply at least, um, excuse me, two months before the deadline uh, is closed. But we've got all this information. So if you are interested, uh, we, you know, you can get in touch with uh, my office. I'll send you the, it's easy, the international applications link so that you just run through and you see everything, the entire picture. And um, we go about it like that. I, I, I think I can post it, I can post it on the, uh, on the group. So just remind me, if you are on the group, just say, please, uh, studies in Germany link, then I'm going to send it to you uh, this evening when I settle down. I, I hope I answered your uh, question, Mr. Mwanza. Yes, it's very much clear. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We need more exposure, you know, 
we need more exposure, even research, research programs. You know, there are certain things we used to refer those years we would bring University of Zambia, to say, please, we are connecting you to the research centers in Germany. But as usual, oh, Mr. Goman, that sounds really good. The Germans are asking here, the University of Hamburg is asking, what about University of Zambia, what we talked about? The head of department has disappeared. So uh, no really interest, but now we have reached this level. Let's do it ourselves through our CHU, Central Hamburg University and CDT group. Perfect. Oh, uh, I think some more meetings are waiting. Um, we can close now. And I just want to say that uh, thank you so much for having it come through uh, this meeting. It was really educative. And um, Mr. Kolova, if we could be having uh, update meetings like this, let's say twice in a month, that's really going to uh, be nicer. So think about that one. Think about the calendar. Where we, even if there are no issues, we just meet Maybe like just that. lastly, one and item, sir. Yeah. Just, just before you close. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, sir. Oh, oh, Mr. Kaluba. Mr. Kaluba, call me on WhatsApp. Your call me on WhatsApp, Mr. Kaluba. Okay, let me call Mr. Kaluba quickly. Now he's gone. Okay, I'm just going to call him on uh, WhatsApp all of time. Yes, sir. I think, yeah, you can conclude with on WhatsApp because of time. I've got to jump into another meeting. Come again, sir. You can conclude on WhatsApp. Just you, you are louder. They are hearing you. Okay. I was saying maybe one item. Just talk about uh, the log sheet procedure of the teachers. How we're going to get feedback from them because a lot of people they are failing to give the feedback on how they are trying to work. Just briefly, so that we shall emphasize it alone. Ah, okay. The the logging, uh, the record sheets. You mean? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 No. That. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one is very, very important because even when the payments are coming through, they will be based on the uh, record. T, it's called, we, we shared already. Anybody who got the, what is it called? The, the contract, it came with the teacher's record sheet. Your details up there, name, location, day one, for instance, physics, content taught, Number of hours, very important. Then the month finishes, you add up all the hours and you endorse. You need to have that one. If you didn't have it, please, it's important. You ask for a record sheet because as you know, we are paid on hourly basis. Even here, we record. Those salaries from CG group, we haven't started. We record, it's time we work this number of hours when payments are coming to be paid through accumulation of the number of hours. If you don't have that one, please write on the group again, teacher's record sheet. Of course, you've been keeping, I'm pretty sure, if you don't have one, that is, you've been keeping what you've been teaching, just transfer them. It's a very simple, easy uh, uh, form. Sure. Thank you very much, Mr. Karuba, for that. Thank you so much. Perfect. So uh, then we're going to close now uh, with a short prayer. Father, we give you your glory. We thank you so much, Father, for this meeting you gave us together with Zambia, where we discussed pertinent issues 2023. And we trust you, Father, that uh, the works that we're doing unto the vulnerable in Zambia and elsewhere, Father, yes, they're going to find room into the recipients. And bless us, all the managers and the teaching staff, anybody involved into this project that for surely our goal to serve and serve the needy vulnerable with sympathy and empathy is achieved in Jesus name we say amen so amen thank you
Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And thank you. See you later. Good best. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.